lived in, in, in New York City for a while, as a matter of fact. I, uh, I told my mom, I said, Mom, I'm going to go make it on Broadway. I, no, she said, no way. I said, yeah, you know, like uh, Frank Sinatra, do it my way. Ended up playing music every night in the subway. Now that's a true story. I was a subway musician for about three years in New York City. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. A hundred times a night. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Number six train uptown side at Spring Street. That was my stop. And I'd stand right there on the platform with this little guitar right here. And my guitar case open, and hopefully people would come by and put some money on it. I said, all right. And the train would come to the station. You know what? Remember those old disco records you had that I used to listen to a lot? Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. It's just like that song, you know. Like a jungle sometime to be good in the high keyboard. Like a jungle sometime to be good in the high keyboard. Like a jungle. Like a jungle sometime to be good in the high From Greenville, North Carolina, to Rocky Mountain, that's where you catch the whole Amtrak train. Sky high hope, I had open eyes go. showed up in a very strange form, in the form of a Mongolian goat herder. I mean, it's New York City after all, anything can happen, and it usually does. So the train comes in the station. The doors open up, and out steps a Mongolian goat herder. He was clad in leather from head to toe. That's right. And he looked at me in my eyes, and he went, I'm <laughs> 
kind of smell like goats. You know that? Okay, I get it now. I've been waiting for you. Let me try to make a sound to play with you. And I put my lips together and with And I said. You know, you know what they say about the first time, right? Not always the best. But the second time, I was more prepared. He said. And I said. Yeah. <laughs> 